All right, we're back. Uh, we accidentally killed our first uh, probably innocent person last time. Also, the Lazel has to talk to us. The subordinate questioned my judgment. Subordinate. I tongues chew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. All right, my girlfriend said you have to go, Lazel. Uh, sorry. Uh, subordinate is the thing that also made me uh, sort of quiver with a... Uh, so, so it like raised my hackles. This writing is really fun. The writing in this game is really fun. I'm loving the dialogue, the dialogue trees and dialogue decisions feel very fun. I love how quickly I can pull you guys too. I think maybe we put up a boundary here, you know? I think we, uh, we aren't, I'm not your subordinate. I think that's what we. I think that's the choice. I feel. King Yank, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Did you say teethling? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by purification? Lazel, you might be more trouble than you're worth. You might be. Wait, is this interactive? There's a, a thing over the uh, over the screen. Uh, there should be an overlay where you can click on the dialogue options and tell me which one you would prefer me to choose. Um, this 100% means that 100% of chat people so far have chosen this first option. Wish the poll worked in my country slash mobile. There are some limitations, I think. Might be mobile. Maybe some countries don't allow it to work. We can choose, I barely noticed. I mostly ignore what you guys I say. I am unfamiliar but... with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. It's fey rune. I hate to be that guy. I hate to be the linguist in the group, but I am a bard. Pronunciation is my vocation. It's Faerun. What do you mean by purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Sure. You're always a pleasure, Lazel. Always a pleasure. Alright, Asherak, what's your deal? The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Oh, wait, that's Will. Hey, I know Yuck. Will. <laughs> What's yuck about it? Go on. Will's the one who sort Give of saved our shot. asses outside. <laughs> Not uh -oh. bad. Again. I love this. I love that comment. I can't Jeff. do it. I'm not like you. Party member approval doesn't decide Only whether or not someone is I a murder hobo. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Coach Will. Coach Will says, "Take another lap, kids. Take another rep." Will, can I have a word? This whelp is hopeless. You're wasting your time. It's good advice, child. You'll do well to listen or leave. Children love being told, listen to advice. That's what they love hearing. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The blade I just of noticed Will's eye. Which... The man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the Whoa. waste of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. Avernus you is hell? The question mark? Front seat question? Avernus is, is, is like the plane where hell is? Is that right? Texture is amazing in this game? Yeah, this is medium settings. This is all medium settings. The will was on the ship. 
It's a new subscriber. Welcome Lily, to the cult. thank you for the uh thank you for the subscription. Hi, brand new subscriber, new cult member. Let's go. Welcome in. It's one of the layers of hell. Okay. First layer of hell. Hi Lily, welcome in. Okay. Front seat question because I have to know. Did we have one of those shared mind moments with Gail? Front seat question, yes or no? The ones where are we like sort of dip in and out with the parasite? Because if we did, that would suggest. That he 100% has a parasite. Bricks Arthic says no. Does anyone else? Uh, Leonardo Golden says yes and. I don't think we had the magic moment. So I'm pretty sure Gale has something going on. Exclamation Tama. Who is that woman? The one in your thoughts? The one with one horn? I don't need to be prying necessarily. I don't need to pry. Hi, Lily. Just finished watching your Outer Wilds playthrough. Oh, let's go. I'm excited to see more stuff. Hope you're having fun with Baldur's Gate 3. A lot of fun so far. A lot of fun so far. Um, Will seems awesome. Should I get rid of Asterion and just bring Will? Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Yo, what's Will's underwear look anyway. like? Could mm. just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide mm. once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Mm. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. We get a warm welcome Diaboli, for Lily in the, the chat. Advocate, a champion in the blood Hi, war between diabolical forces and demons. Devil's Advocate. What a great name. Devil's Advocate? Advocatus Diabola? What the hell? An, a Devil Avocado? Wow. Wow. Devil's Advocado. Who is she? Cavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. Cavorting or like cavorting? Her name is Karlak. That's an yes. arch devil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. Oh no. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Okay, so I have bad news. Will's trying to kill Carlac. Which means I can't take Will into my party because I'm trying to bed Carlac. So we have a problem. It's either be friends with Will or Make the devil's adv avocado, avocado my girlfriend. But he's cute, but you haven't seen Carlac. Carlac is hot. She very warm, very warm, very warm. Carlac is. Rizbel, hi, how's it going? Shout out to this uh, artifice for the sub. Hell yeah. Oh no, what will you do? Get both of them, but they would hate each other. They'd hate each other. I want to see what you guys would choose here. I can't choose one. Two finds common ground. The, the source of our common ground is the infection. Three is abandoned entirely. We could always go halfway down this path, choose number two. Satanists are better in bed. I can't comment on that. I don't know the answer. However, uh, the new song from Boy Genius. Anybody listen to the Boy Genius album, uh, the record this year? Uh, Satanist, the song from the Boy Genius album is one of my favorites from the album. I've been playing that album like crazy this year. 
<clears throat> Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. Paladin? But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. Excellent. I gotta send somebody back to, to camp. You'll need to make room if you yep. want to partner up, though. All right, Asterion, get the when fuck the out of here. When the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Uh. Excellent. So, Asterion, I have bad news. Asterion, bad news. Get out of here. This seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. I love that album. True Blue is maybe one of my favorite love songs ever written. I agree. Megan and I have been talking about it constantly. Um, I need you to stay in camp for a while. Darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. What we have is that I hate you and you well, tolerate you know me. where to find me. Will's a Chad. Will is coming into my, our party and 100% is a... Uh, the Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Is a paladin. There's no, sh there's no chance. A worthy ally, perhaps. But I'll waste no time chasing devils while a tadpole feasts on our skulls. I'd have I've something seen special with him. With Asterion? I reckon you are no mere warrior, but a god's damned army. I'd be a fool to let you turn your back. Pledge me your talents, and I'll pledge you mine. But Will might just be the glue I'll that keeps the Azel. I'll presume for yes. Now let's move. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this... Hero act you've got going. Mm. Hero blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. I love the writing in this game. God damn. Will, welcome to the party. Warlock? What the fuck? I thought for sure your oath sworn. Wait, who did you swear your oath to? Wait, what? Oh, I thought you were going to be a paladin. I fucking love paladins. Don't be grumpy, bro. Oh, man. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. You, we definitely need to level up. Let's take a look at your inventory real quick. A rapier. You are a high charisma character. Dude, I might bring fucking... I might bring a uh, Asterion back. Hmm. Okay. Warlock's very interesting. Have you ever played D&D &D before? I, I have. I, we're actually, I'm in the middle of our first campaign and we are uh, level eight right now. We're actually taking a small break from our campaign to do a couple one shots. And then, uh, And then we'll go back to it. All right, level two warlock. Gained a spell. Burning hands. Which is a five meter radius from you, I believe. Each flammable target is hit with three to 18 fire damage. It's 3d6. The deck save. Uh, charm person, command, expeditious retreat. Command here works where you tell them to flee, move closer, freeze, drop to the ground, drop weapon. Expeditious Retreat is a cool spell. Hellish Rebuke is a great spell. React to your next attacker with flames that deal 2 to 20 fire damage. You can still take half damage on a save. Hex is cool because you do one extra d6 uh, every time you attack them. It's perfect for sort of picking an enemy. Hex could be a lot of fun to start. Who's Hex? Eldritch Invocations. In your study of occult lore, you've unearthed Eldritch Invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with an abiding magical prowess. Uh, add your charisma modifier to the damage it deals, unless it's negative. I think charisma modifier is plus three, so we add three to every Eldritch Blast. That seems huge. What subclasses will? I don't know yet. Um, we're currently level two, so I don't know that we do we do we choose that at level three? I think. Uh, cast mage on your 
armor on yourself at will without expending a spell slot. Increases your armor class when you aren't wearing armor. Beast speech. At will? We can talk to animals at will? At will. That is a pun, uh, uh, at will with will. By will? To will. Whomst will will speak to. Will will speak at will to whomst will chooses. I kind of have to choose beast speech without reading the rest of these because I'm so excited. I don't know one with shadows. Mask of many faces is disguise self. We already have some disguise self going on. Fiendish vigor. False life on yourself, which I think gives you an extra like six to seven. Yeah, seven temporary hit points. Devil's sight. I think I'm choosing beast speech. At will, by will, whomst will, to will. I have two spells. Hex and speak with animals. <laughs> Using one of your two spell slots, uh, or your two spells as a warlock to, 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 to choose speak with animals feels so fucking rough. Still have your otherworldly patron. Do we have a subclass though? You would know better than me. I don't know. We also maybe will upgrade to level three right now. Yes, level three. Class features. Gained a spell. <clears throat> I don't know then. Uh, I don't know then, Jeff. I don't know how to tell. Um, all right. We have a packed boon here in a second. Your patron bestows a gift upon you for your loyal service. Pact of the chain, you gain the service of a familiar. Pact of the blade, you summon a packed weapon or bind the one you are wielding, making it magical, which is very cool. Pact weapons use the spell casting ability modifier instead of strength or dex. And my modifier, oh my god, we're about to make Will cracked out of his mind. Will's about to be so cracked. Pact of the Tome gives you a grimoire called the Book of Shadows, allows you to count guidance, vicious mockery, thorn whip. We'll do Pact of the Blade. That sounds fucking fantastic. Um. Oh my god. I think this means we'll get a plus three to hit. Because we'll use our charisma. All right, so our spells. Uh, what do we want to choose here? Blindness, Cloud of Daggers. That seems insane. Cloud of Spinning Daggers. Last for 10 turns. Enthrall. Old person, invisibility. Burning hands for the flavor of it. Will walks up, catches everyone uh, uh, around him on fire. That'd be awesome. Hi, Captain Morgan. Classic warlock behavior. This patron is probably fucking secret or something. Hellish Rebuke. React to your next attacker. The flames that deal. Hellish Rebuke seems great, though. I've always wanted to use Hellish Rebuke. For the name alone, I'm choosing Hellish Rebuke. <sighs> thirsting over Will? Calliope is thirsting over here. Thirsting, I say. All right, your AC is 12, which sucks. But uh, you now... I have to do this per battle, Pact of the Blade. And it's an action? Oh, no. <laughs> True. Okay, well. Interesting. Okay. Uh, now we have to add Karlak to our party and make Will lose his fucking mind. Um, cool. Let's go over to Torun, maybe. Nope. Let's go as Marcus to Torun. I should speak up. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Okay. 
This is the most I've timed and I haven't even played this game. About Will's uh Will's uh weapon, Pact of the Blade. You found Karlak already? We did. We rescued Karlak. Uh, but we need to find Karlak again uh, and add them to our party so that we can try romancing them and so that Will can be pissed off. Uh, all right. So in camp, we're still looking for... Bored Ox? Wait, wait, what? Bored Ox, Hungry Ox, and Strange Ox? And Will can speak to animals? Will, come here. Speak to animals. Talk, talk to the hungry ox. What's going on? Be gone. I am hungry. Talk to this one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. What? What is an orox? What the fuck does that mean? Hold up, go into Google. Orox. It's an extinct wild ox of Europe. Okay. An extinct cattle species. I've never heard of that word before. Ant, are you calling me small? Orox describes me well. What are you talking about? The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their needs. Druids. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay. And I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. They do what now? Hey now, shiny bits. The tieflings put something in your hay. Intriguing. You do a noble thing, carrying burdens for those who can't. I'm sure they'll appreciate being told, hey, your limited life is noble. Sure, noble, but I can't even eat my food. Hiding things, thinking they're clever, not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits. What'd you do on stream today, Ryan? Looking for them on the other end. Talk to a fucking horse. Hey, stack. Use them. Open. We need to uh, distract you now. Who's the one? I, somebody in my party can talk, can cast. Uh, oh, the waiting's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. And cast shining lights now. I think it was Asterion, though. Swing and swing and All right. So who's the sneakiest person? Can we just try opening this? Let's take a let's take a quick save first. Quick save. Open. Pouch. What's inside of the pouches? No one stopped me yet. Pouch has onyx and gold in it. Let's go. Drop the pouch. Sweet. Hell yeah. Cool. All right, Will, you go back to speaking to this other the ox. Of the people. A strange ox. Can't keep uh -huh. You're addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. The humble ox. There's something strange about this ox. What is it? We passed an insight. Uh... Our Arcana, plus one from Intelligence, plus two from Arcana Proficiency. 100% we're taking that. Uh, and I'll get a Guidance from my favorite wing woman, Strongheart. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. That's a 20 on a 10. We'll take it. This spell is always so funny. Players always think animals are going to know the intricate details about the villain's plot. They are surprised when the information is incomplete and vague because, of course, the animals aren't concerned with plots. Uh, only with eating. Jeff, my least favorite spell... I, I used to say my least favorite spell in all of D&D was speak with animals. Also, my Oath of the Ancients Paladin has... I believe that's correct. Has uh, speak with animals auto-stocked 
uh, at all times. So, hilariously, I hate the spell, and I always have it stocked. So our party, in our D&D campaign, our party is always like, hey, Grog, my character's name, Grog, will you cast Speak with Animals? And I'm like, fucking sure. Currently, Megan has a pet rat named a very large rat, a very, like, five times the size of a normal rat. A very large rat named Sir Wimbledon de Pimsey. Because Megan's character thought that's what the rat's name was, and I had to speak with animals, convince the rat to go by that name so that it could get food from Megan's character, and, like, convince the rat to basically play that role. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. I think this one might be. be a druid. There's more to you than meets the eye. No. You are incapable. What are our roles? What are Will's roles for these things? Plus three from guidance, either persuasion or intimidation. Deception is also plus three, but we don't get the intimidation proficiency that we get for these two. Come on, old chap. Who's your DM? Our DM is a uh, is actually uh, a person who is off sometimes in this chat. Um, a good friend of mine from college. I haven't played D&D &D for such a long time. All right, we roll guidance on this. DC's only 10. It would be incredibly hard to fuck this up. We're good. Barely. Favorite D&D &D class? I really like... Uh, um, I really like Paladins. It's also the only class I've played. I'll tell you this much. But I love... Paladins. I'm going to Baldur's Gate. They're so problematic. Without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. What the I fuck is going on with this cow? Strange ox. Notable features it has blind sight? Do you have blind sight? No. Do you have blind sight? No. You have blind sight. You have dark vision and opportunity attacks. What the fuck is going on with this strange huh? Keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress and we're not Can we talk Moo. again? Moo. 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 You're my favorite character in the game. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite character in the game. <clears throat> the narrator for Butters Gate 3 is going to be the voice for uh, uh, the name that I can't say. Uh, Hecate or whatever. Hecate in Hades 2. I did not know that. I'm so intrigued by you. What are you? Are you polymorphed? What's your deal? Still alive. Hmm. So that's progress. But you have to get to Baldur's Gate no matter what. There's a strange cow that really wants to get to Baldur's Gate. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Also, least favorite D&D &D class, uh, Rizbel, the second half of your question. I'm not sure. Um, I really haven't played enough to know. Mm -hmm. Ones I'm least interested in. Uh, I've always said I'm least interested in playing a warlock, but... Um... Mm. He's still staring right past you. Are you a cow who's been polymorphed into a tiefling? You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. The fuck? Uh-oh. Yikes. I accidentally clicked through the, uh, thing. Ironically, Warlock's my favorite 5e class. The funny thing is, I've always said I don't want to play a Warlock, and I might 
I still don't know exactly what to do, but I might I might play a warlock for our next uh our next one shot. I just might. But our DM for our next uh for our next little thing reached out and said uh um Ryan, are you gonna play a bard? Because I've seen what you're doing with Baldur's Kid 3 and I think you it's You look funny. the rocks over, but find no sign Hi, of the way through. Okay. There's something going on here. I wonder if there's a way to like, I wonder if there's a spell I could use here. No questions? All right. Hmm. What's next? Do you have any spells to like? What the fuck's going on with this little kid? Passing between the rocks. I've got a long road ahead. Swift as my feet can carry me. Swift as my feet can carry me. Alright, we're looking for Nettie still. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Ryan, you go need on. to be go Take through chaos. It's Your lucky. warlock tries to make the DM go crazy. I, I'm such I can't do it. I'm such a bat, like a Take this ring, it's lucky. Interesting. Lucky or cursed? Hmm, I wonder what you're pulling off here. I I, I think one of the reasons uh I play a social, a really a really uh social paladin, a very polite and social paladin right now, is that like I want so badly to help the DM at the table and help the other players. It's like the one like if I had to describe my most base instinct as a D&D player, it is like, help the D, like, <laughs> like, uh, uh, gain the approval of the other people at the table and or the DM. Call it, heads or tails. It's a ring. Oh, that's a coin. Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you wow. get from one of my lucky rings. That's crazy. That's I've got insane. more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? Interesting. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Can I see your other wares? Thanks for the free ring. Intriguing. Uh, intriguing. Help the story along. Exactly. Jeff, it's my, like, only interest. Help the story along. Is your current campaign set in the Forgotten Realms? No, it is. It's actually we're, we just finished the module, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, um, which is set in Feywild, um, etc. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. I'll call tails in case this uh, coin is all heads, both sides. Tails. There. Happy. Am I hearing an echo when you talk to me? Are you casting a spell on me? What the fuck is going on here, kid? Flip the coin again, third time. Really? I mean, fine. Heads or tails? Could be Forgotten Realms. Sorry, it's not Forgotten Realms. It is, uh... I don't think so, right? Um... Shit. Here's my understanding. Our campaign is not set in uh because during the campaign we have like encountered uh people from other realms. I think we have encountered someone for, for from Forgotten Realms. We've encountered someone from like uh whatever the name of the realm that critical role uh who does all of their stuff in there's like there's like people from all of these different realms that we've encountered i don't think it's forgotten realms i don't think it's uh like exandria or whatever i don't remember what that's called let's do heads again heads it is there happy i'm confused <laughs> 
<laughs> I gave the ring back. Hey, you're back. Look to buy, sell, or what? I'll trade. I knew it. Hang on. I probably should have just kept the fucking ring. Succeed a perception check. <clears throat> what did I just succeed on? You have a lot of random foods. Tarbell's Guide to Distractions. Interesting. Ring of Being Really Invisible. Ring of the... <laughs> ring of Being Really Invisible says this ring is missing its gem. Perhaps it's just very invisible. Ring of Infinite Wishes. Uh, nonsensical Runes. Ring of Resistance to Ants. Ring of the Lekinesis. Small pebble swings from a length of fishing line tied to this copper ring. I honestly do think we should buy one of these rings. I wish for infinite wishes. Wait, where's my money? Right there. Let's give you seven gold for this. It's definitely not worth it, but I, I you know what? I like the hustle. Hey, thanks. Let me put this ring on my finger and see what happens. You bought something. Oh shit, you suddenly I just... feel something moving against your back and turn. Mm, intriguing. This was a pickpocket maneuver. This was a this is a one two punch. I engage in trade and you come up behind me and st and pickpocket me. Intriguing. Intriguing. Yeah, definitely. Our uh, our DM homebrewed uh, the like world outside of the uh, module, Jeff. Um, the Anarda says I'm quite the opposite. I always point out and exploit the plot holes and find loopholes in the story. The DMs hate me for that, but it's their fault. You sound like uh, a lot of fun at the table. Detect thoughts. Okay. Okay. You Excellent. see her hand in your bags and the shame in her heart. That's our first successful detect thoughts, by the way. Someone tell uh, something tells me the thieving life isn't for you. So there is true shame in uh, in her heart. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. Aww. I'm sorry. Aww. Sophie, let's talk. Sophie is running away. Let's go d chase him. Bye, Mattis. <laughs> if they had plans to release this on Xbox. What's that? There's a hole here. Can't use this right now? Oh, somebody else go down the hole? What, is, what does that mean? Can't use it? It's a hole. Have somebody else click on it? Interesting. Hi, Aurora. We have a hole here that we can't do anything with. Need to keep going. Is that blood? No, never mind. Blood. So where? There's a hole here. Interesting. Uh, we can't go that way. Where the fuck is this uh, Netty person supposed to be? Netty is here. How do I get there? I can try going around some more. Try going around some more. Need to find a way forward. Please, last room. It is hmm. forbidden. Giorna says it is forbidden. Like Let's walk up and see what's going on. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back. These are the oh, druids. Let me through, Mrad The druids. Uh, throat out. Yep. Well, there's one of your 
wild shapes for the day. Wild shapes are like two per long rest, right? The game is kind of running like poop right now. Um. We could have taken those gods. I'd rather you not get eaten by a bear. I could try grease some palms. Ease things over. So someone's daughter was taken. Well, because that went so well last time. Let's talk to them and see what the we deal is. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard Short the rest. Gotcha. They're waiting on Corka to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Okay. Okay. So what happened? Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. Okay. They need it for their precious. Why ritual. did she try and steal this idol? Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing mm. would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. My heart goes out to you for that, for she sure. She was caught. Foolish child. Let them judge her. La Azel, shut it. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh Lord. Descendants of demons getting intimidated by a bunch of dorks wearing antlers. They're not dorks wearing antlers. They're uh, three seconds away from being a bear ripping your throat out. Um... You should have tried parenting her. Everyone knows that's the thing to say to <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Jeff. You should have tried parenting her. Say that to a parent. Get your fucking throat ripped out. Jesus Christ. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Save Hurry. Arabella. I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take <sighs> this waiting. All right, let's talk to you. She must be... Lives are at stake. And the... Cowards only care about their bloody rituals. I'm sure they have the reasons. I wonder what it is, though. About the, the ritual. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their Three huggers, growth. dirt kissers. I love that. I love that. And you'll have blood. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Okay, we can talk to them about Arabella. The sacred pool. Hello there. Come Tag yourself. Madeline. I'm dirt kisser. Give them a chance. You get Milk back. drinker. Tree hugger. You get back. Let's see. What's the deal here? <clears throat> Weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Why? What's so special down here? I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you let me by? Ignore them and proceed or leave. I'm not looking for trouble. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. I honestly Giona. love what you're wearing. What? <clears throat> oh, I understand. We helped kill the goblins. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Okay. We can pass by. Can I talk to you uh, uh, real quick, uh, Mino? Why did you let us pass? You outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. I really like your tattoos. Another bear. Bosk Volo. It's over here. That just leaves. All right, let's go talk to Volo. I'm not looking for trouble. Ah, my good friend. Dandelion? You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? I did. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. You are a bard. There's no shot you won't be, uh... Glory. Telling this story. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind. 
successfully Insight. recalling various details okay. of goblin behavior. That's such a good choice uh, for the new uh, character in the Hades uh, uh, game. This voice. My God. You know? The narrator voice is so good. This bard sounds like a DM doing a voice. Classic raid gang, complete with lasher and smattering of booyogs. I love that. I love that choice. Goblin, same as all the others, lowly and vile. Give an exact description. Didn't you see the tentacled ship? It was an illithid invasion force. The goblins were being controlled. This is a redirect who the real enemy is here. I like that option. Ye gods! Can it be? How terribly compelling. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? The what now? I love all the racial and or class options. It's cool. And or like, sit, like my, one of my options I get a lot is bald, Baldurian, right? Like where you're from. In 5e, there's a source book called Volo's Guide to Monsters. Interesting. Uh, there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? Dragons? How? <laughs> Basically insult this person's storytelling abilities here. I like this. I like this a lot. Witness declined. Uh huh. Comment. Yeah. There was On no the dragon, motherfucker. Of dragon. Spin that however you'd like, Volo. Last question. Then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Oh, this is such a good interaction. My paranoia levels are off the fucking charts. We don't actually know Volo's intentions, motives. We don't know, like, uh, the route Volo will take this. Uh, but it's so... It, it still makes us think about the themes that we're, that we're encountering in this area so far. This, like, uh, if you were to tell the story of the goblins objectively versus, like, a very specific subjective version here, um, which ways would you paint them? And then, which ways would you paint the tieflings? Which ways would you paint the druids? And so much of this, like, uh, scare tactic othering protecting the grove. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, I don't curious know that I even liked indeed. that option, but I picked it because it said Bard. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. Mm, Saza? She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! How has Maglaviet responded? <laughs> Um. <clears throat> oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. Great use of the word I, anathema. For what? Intend to get to the bottom of it. Sure, and Just then make money off the telling of that story. Speak, in fact, uh, if you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Good luck. Um. Why the dragon? Let's ask about you. I feel like you love to talk about yourself. My goblins, obviously. Well, someone ought to chronicle these curious events. I'd heard the master of this place, a druid called Halson, might be able to point me in the right direction. But he's been quite he captured has, by indeed. them already. Ironic, really. We need to keep that in the back of our heads as an option about My how to friend, solve this problem. Every story benefits from a dragon. <laughs> Until we meet again. Every story benefits from a dragon. Volo, you are insane. I like you. 
I don't trust you, but I do like you. A primer on mythical beasts and a plaque. Let me read the plaque first. Little note as well. By Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. Something good here, right? Dragon D's. I do wish I could understand you. Mm, I'll take those for sure. Okay. What is this scribbled note? Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough as it is. Okay. Um. Each chapter of this book describes the cultural origins of a different mythological beast. Miniature giant space hamster. <laughs> Okay. So what the fuck is going on with this uh this thing? There's an antidote here. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. I probably what shouldn't talk to you. I feel like talking to you would distract you, might get me killed, make people angry. Tusk, what's up? I know what we'll do. We'll have Will talk to you. Aha! Will! You can cast this shit at will. At will by will. Speak with animals, Will. I thought you were housey. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Okay. Where's housey? Promise me a meat. Interesting. You're not interested in food. You're interested in... Fucking... All right, sure. Looking ahead. I love Speak. the boar. Mm. Wait, were you talking to a bird? <clears throat> Apicusis, what were you saying to the bird? I'm looking for a healer. It doesn't look like you're helping with the ritual. Are you helping to prepare for the ritual? Obviously four over three. <sighs> what about the bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. You are really, uh, sort of a very interesting character here, Apicusis. I love your hair. Uh, I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy here. With guidance, we're chilling here. You add so much to this roll. I got a fucking four. We still make it, I think. We still make it. You still make I forgive me. It is not you I fear. Okay. So a druid who doesn't brethren. agree with everything that's going on. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Mm-hmm. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. I like where that's going. Is she wrong? Plus nine. I know, right? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Halsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns. The bird is with looking for a him. sign of Halsin. If not, I fear for my people. I think I might try and rescue Halsin. We might try. The, the party, not just me. Not just Marcus Every Star. Shouldn't the ritual protect the grove? You're not helping the others prepare it. I hear a ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? See, this is the same assumption. It's assuming you're not helping versus are you helping? Give them the opportunity to tell you. I would prefer not to. Bartleby? But if Master Halsin does not return... Is that you? Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Apicusis, it's been a pleasure. I like to talk it to you. Please, Tusk. It's not the time. It's not the time, Tusk. Tusk is horny! Tusk is real horny. Wow. What's going on over here? There's a lever? I mean, can I touch the lever? Will? Speak with animals. Go talk to this one. Go talk to this one. Are you sleeping? Are you actually sleeping or are you saying that you're sleeping? Throw a fish next to the elevator? Huh? 
What's that? Sure. I like your elevator. This is cool as shit. Where does it go? Can I speak to the chipmunk? <clears throat> this is such a dramatic scene. Chipmunk, what's up? Get out! The squirrel lunges at your oh! foot and bites it. Combat? Dexterity kick? What the hell, bud? <coughs> Dexterity kick. What was that for? I'm a friend, you I'm a friend. You in without an invitation. I wouldn't call that friendly. See, you're in my territory, and I want you gone. Plenty of room for the both of us. Although a warlock intimidation does seem fun. One word, and I could fry you to a crisp. We get a plus five here. We don't get guidance, because, and it only takes a five, so we're chilling. Five DC to intimidate this chipmunk. Squirrel, whatever. 30-20. Let's go. Okay, okay. Calm down. We can make a deal. How about this? You can stay if you keep those ugly feet on the ground. I'll even sweeten the pot. Found some weird smelling stuff on the ground. Mm. You can keep it. But Love that for us. These trees are mine. Follow the rules and I won't have to intervene. Got it? What's in the trees? Reward, Timber's incentive. We convinced Timber to let us walk on their territory. He left us a small trinket to keep us away from the trees. It's a hyena ear. Thanks so much. What's in the trees? Acorns? Oh, this is back to the fucking start. I know where we are. We unlocked the shortcut. All right, let's go back to you. Walk away a little bit and see if... Uh... Can I group us all together? I don't know if, uh, if Will will come back. The pride of the gate. <clears throat> cool. Now we got the whole party. Let's go. Uh, let's go do some chat. Oh my God, look at the bees, butterflies. I mean. Huh. Open this stone door. The Emerald Grove. That's Arabella. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, God. Whoa. Please. Ah! I'm sorry. Snake warning for people who don't like him. Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Yo, What? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out every stranger. Haga, you're crazy. You're crazy, girl. You're crazy. Okay, so we're getting to the heart of the matter in this druid camp here. Kaga, the new leader, is imprisoning this child, casting out all of the refugees. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me, but first I can weigh weigh in on the uh, Arabella choice. But I don't know in what in what way I'm being seen. Am I getting thanked for having saved the uh, people at the gates, or am I being told to fuck off for helping save people at the gates, bringing in more refugees? 
this girl's actual crime. Girl, you mean parasite. Oh, Tug, I don't like you. Food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Jesus Cook. Christ. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Oh, we get some enchant. We get some chances to intervene here. Read Kaga's mind. If it goes badly, I get fucked. Don't druids cherish harmony? Failing the girl disrupts nature's balance. I don't know how I feel about that one. I think a persuasion release her. I'll st I'll say that she stay see that she stays out of trouble is more likely. Uh. Sylvanas was more concerned with nobly sown seeds than punishing children, was he not? Intriguing. Appeal to their, uh, to their god. Hmm. Hmm. We add guidance to this. Uh, DC is 15, but we add at least eight. I roll a seven. I rolled a seven. We're squeaking by. Ooh squeaking by. The words of the tree father spoken plain. It is as you say. Lazel disapproves. Me. Everyone else approves. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. We save the child. It hurts. What hurts? Thank what? you, Korga. Master Holson. Halson isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce. We gotta find Halson. So, what is going on with this journal? What what went on with uh, Shadow Hearts? Damn it! With uh uh uh. It hurts. That was interesting. I was frightened of something. My fears hardly mm. you see the just let her run off. Shadowheart is scared of snakes. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. What does Lazel approve of? Goddamn straight. Something's on my mind. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Haga seems dangerous. If I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? I've heard there's some sort of ritual going on. I don't know that I want to play my cards so uh, plainly about Kaga seeming dangerous. Um, I think I would prefer nothing just asking. befitting a child, nothing befitting any of mm, our world. That's creatures. interesting, TPP. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Okay, so Wrath is being pretty, uh, pretty obvious with his cards. How did Kaga take over? She is first druid in Halsin's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gain. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. I'm happy to look for Halson. Would you? I would give anything to see Halson return home. I'll find him. Um, I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Oh, I wonder if this helps our charlatan, uh, our charlatan background. I'm going to try. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you. Even if the circle forbids it. I'm playing this charlatan background as well. Like... With the presence of a bear. He left <clears> west <throat> with the adventurers. You won't basically, mistake the first druid for anyone else. Basically, I'm just playing it as like interested in money. <laughs> Stay close. So here's my thought. So let's take Will. Speak with animals at will. Amigos. Talk to you. Let's silver. Uh, Who's silver? Another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me, grab my tail, 
Shout until my head hurts. <clears throat> uh, I'm not here to vex you, hunt you, grab your tail, or shout at you until your head hurts. Uh, who's been doing this to you? I wanted to give you my smell. I'll leave you be. Ooh. No, wait. You smell fresh. Safe. I love that stay, option. If you must. Is it is it shitty of me to say? Hold up. A little bit of Bethesda uh, shit talking incoming. Is it shitty of me to say that this is what I wished Fallout 4's dialogue uh, options would have been like? Is that shitty of me? There's a Pinta. There's a rat named Pinta. And another rat named Oladon. And another rat named Ren. There's so many fucking rats. There's so many rats. There's so many rats. Also, Shadowheart has a line of dialogue. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. I was. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Shadow Heart's been hurt before. Shadow Heart. I just wanna I just wanna protect you for forever. I wanna protect you from for, for forever. I just oh. Sorry, my paladin is showing. Um how badly does it hurt? Also, what does this mean about tadpoles? I thought we were looking at snakes. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. New Vegas over four. It's not bad. You ain't wrong. Dialogue can always improve in video games. That's disappointing for me and everything but setup. And I hope Starfield can have some interesting interactions, but I'm not sold on it. I mean, the thing that gets me about Starfield talk right now. Guys, we just don't know shit about Starfield. We'll know, we'll know, like, the... I, it feels like so much uh, conversation around Starfield that's happening is, like... <laughs> it's just, like, uh, taking shots in the dark. We just don't know. We'll know when the game is out. Like, that's when we'll know. I have hopes for Starfield, but uh, we just don't know yet. Uh... The other thing I would say, New Vegas over four. I totally get it, Mars. I totally get it. I also wish New Vegas <laughs> dialogue options were a little bit more like this. The thing that I love, the, to, to focus on what I'm trying to say here, the thing that I love is that uh, about this dialogue and the way that the dialogue works in this game is I have such a like uh, sort of diffuse understanding of relationships, motives, interests, factions, etc. from the multiplicity of options that I am given and how they are tied to my race, location, uh, uh, class, etc. and the approving and disapproving of people around me um, in comparison to them. It's so interesting. This dialogue is really, like, it's not black and white the same way that like interesting interesting dialogue in like more similar to like I would say more similar to literary dialogue I would say where like as much is left unsaid sometimes as is directly said I really like it Baldur's Gate 3 equals good? True. Can't wait for Ryan to play Elder Scrolls 6 when he's 60 years old. Can't wait to play Oblivion when I'm 55. It's cra This dialogue's crazy. I don't know. My hopes for Starfield will only end in my own pain and disappointment. I'm well aware. Even I, like, I have hopes for Starfield, but I also just have low expectations, right? Witcher 3 had good uh, dialogue like that as well, but there's less choice, obviously. And you come in in a different way. You come into The Witcher 3 with a large set of uh, of past character, like so many choices of the person you're playing happened already. 
in these other books and in this like lore that's built up that whether or not you know about it there are things that Geralt would do or would not do or would be more likely to do or would be less likely to do um so much of that is like with the the specific named character you play uh is different than this you said oblivion soon we have video evidence are you really going to play Oblivion? I'm almost starting to cry at some point, but probably not soon. Jeff, look at what you did. Are you sure it's not connected Positive. to the tadpoles? You can trust me on that. Are you killed Shadowheart? Honestly, banned. Banned? Banned. I'm timing you. Here's the deal. I am going to time you out for... Uh, hold up. For... How long did that time you out for? 10 minutes? That's not what I meant. Fuck, shit. I'm doing this on my laptop. That was a mistake. Uh-oh. 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 10 minutes was too much. I was going to do 30 seconds. Uh-oh. Leonardo Golden... Oh, Lord. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh... On timeout. There we go. Oh, Tony, that's all right, I would say. I, w I wasn't super concerned about it from a backseating perspective. I was concerned about it from a I have a crush on Shadowheart perspective. <laughs> Tell me about your fear of wolves? Ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can... Don't make me face any more oh. of them. At least, not alone. Shadowheart. I would never leave you out alone. Oh my god. Option three is so cruel. Option four is so cruel. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Oh, we're seeing Shadowheart so insecure like right here. You. You're different. The Rizless run comes to an end, baby. You what about me? Maybe that's what you what about me? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, say that one more time. Wait, where's the replay the dialogue option? Where's where's the button that makes it? Uh, uh, somebody take a screenshot. Wait, you what? Wait, what? Wait a second. Let's go. The Rizless run comes to an end. Let's go. All right, let's go talk to Loic. And then I think we're probably going to talk to Kaga Please to see leave. why she wants to see me. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Okay, well, fuck you too. Uh, all right, we'll go talk to Kaga. I won't have a word. Why did you want to see me? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I think you're a snake. Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. Yo, Will, shut up! <clears throat> Only a monster would threaten a child. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Honestly, I wanted to see what would happen. Hi, Artifiz. How is it going? Uh, <laughs> well, here's my thought. There is, I believe, a 0% chance of us and Kaga getting along and agreeing. I also think, even if that is true, the odds of us... Th that, I, that I still think... Uh, Pissing off the person in power might not be the the correct choice. However, this feels very sucky. This feels like sucking up hardcore. We can remain neutral or we can put, you know, let's be principled. Let's be principled. Yes, you would say so. I know you're kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. 
I call her mother. Mm. You call her monster. Oh. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The Azel disapproves? No fucking shit. Uh, this right must be... Okay, so here's where we... Ooh, wrong button. Here's where we find out about what's going on with this right. Reach for your weapon? Who fucking voted for it? Shame on you. Artifice kicked a rusty corner? You did what now? I did my bad? Two of you picked it? Ryan had seen a single film ever. You're right, I haven't seen a single film ever. This right must be born of powerful magic. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. This gives you this this sets you up. This sets you up. I want to hear your I want to hear your take here. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled Are you going to offer me? I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're yeah. to be gone before You're not going to reward me? If they are not, the viper must strike. All right, I hate her. I hate her a lot. <clears throat> Intriguing. Uh, I'm going to speak to Zevlor. I don't know you why. You will even... do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. With your head rolling down this hill behind me? Yeah, sure. All right, Kaga. I mean... Fuck my... Let's see what this does. <clears throat> All right. Hefty book is labeled 1371, stamped with an elegant stag against a green, dark background. Uh, sent two druids. Sorry, chat. I have to send a text message super quick, and then I'll get back to this. Uh, Sixth of Uktar. Sent two druids some of the newer recruits up north. The village there has had two years of failed crops, are unlikely to survive the next winter. Group from Baldur's Gate. Hey, that's the name of the game. Uh, has arrived. They've set up camp at the edge of the forest. Two bears, a fox came by. Their territory has been burned out. Half the fox's cubs died. Paying this new group a visit tomorrow. Visit did not go well. After telling me where to shove it, they said they'd cut down half the forest and burn out any wildlife that dared to stick around. Claimed they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. Mudslide did the trick. Buried half their farming equipment and made the rest useless. Uh, they won't be back anytime soon. Got reports of a red wizard in the village south of here, sending three rangers to investigate. They catch even a whiff of a red cloak. I'm contacting the house of Sylvanas. I wonder if that is uh, Olsen's or uh, Frog's, Craig's... Uh, Log. Probably Helsons, but I don't know. All right, let's see what's going on around this building before we get out of here. There's a plaque here. They look like dark justicians. Darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild. A riddle to some, but you understand I the do? meaning immediately. Sure, well, I do. The druids turn to the harpers for help. Harpers. Unusual for such a territorial group. Okay, interesting. I love Kega as a character. They tend to always write druids in games as the please don't step on the flowers type. We need more angry druids. I also think Kega is a very interesting the choice. Done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. History or myth, whatever is depicted Fuck. here is long past. Failed my religion. Check. Interesting. I do think Kega is super interesting in that way. Hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. 
But I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. They did a number on you, didn't they? Does that hurt? Nettie, it's you. Holy shit, let's talk. It's our healer. I see you. Just give me a moment. Nettie. Uh, I'll wait patiently. Is there anything I can do to help? Ooh, interesting. Do we offer help or do we play the role we probably more likely fit, which is to wait patiently? I kind of love the idea of a uh, a druid who's angry. Kega, of course, makes my like hackles raise, right? But like, angry druid. Sort of like uh, is interesting because it, it suggests that like this grove of druids is not immune to the like iso isolationist sort of narrative that I think probably is very interesting in 2023. You know, it's like it's just an extension. Uh, it's it could be viewed as a eventual ex extension of one possible extension of like you know caring for this grove being caretakers of a place and the and then it, if that gets twisted or if it gets uh you know pressured the wrong way this there it's up to her now life or death now what was it you needed barbarian druid is such a great multi-class uh I was unaware that Emily Axford had entered the chat. I'm looking for Nettie. Healing looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. It's on the inside of my eyeball. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Did I tell you I finished Fantasy High? You finished it? The finale? Oh my God, what did you think of the finale? I have a tadpole in my head. Oh, that's what the tadpole reference is. It's the fucking thing in my head, of course. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? It's so good, Tony. The finale of Fantasy High is incredible. Maybe only upstaged by episode two of Fantasy High. <laughs> Ali fucking Beardsley, am I right? Uh. Any dropout fans in the chat? Uh, does anyone know Total Forgiveness? Um, another Ali Beardsley uh, show. Ali Beardsley and another College Humor cast member uh, basically challenge each other to difficult tasks in order to raise money to pay off their student loans. The idea is College Humor helps them pay off their loans it's Grant, Grant O'Brien, who's lovely. And Allie and Grant have to challenge each other to do difficult things, like lay in bed with a snake for 30 minutes, give yourself an injection, um, do stand-up, except the stand-up that's written for you is really terrible, sing the national anthem at a minor league baseball game. I finished Total Forgiveness last night, and it has me thinking so much about uh, the, like, um... Student loans, first world problems. Leonardo, I think that sounds, that, that probably sounds more dismissive than you mean it, but uh, probably, you know, no reason to be dismissive about it. Uh, so this show has me thinking a lot about uh, the like shame buttons that, that like watching someone do something super embarrassing, right? and the like buttons it presses in you. For instance, one of the scenes of the show is Allie Beardsley who cannot carry a tune and also does not know the words singing the national anthem at a minor league baseball game. Allie Beardsley sings it and they do not, they get the words of the national anthem wrong despite spending a week studying the words of the national anthem. Can't carry a tune, the notes are all over the place. I had to physically pause the, I had to pause the show look away compose myself turn the volume down and hit play to, to make it through that performance like it, it, it's it just like oh it hurts it hurts my stomach so much to watch 
you know and that's not the case for everyone like some people some people watch that they're totally fine but for me i don't know for some reason me i cannot watch people sing in ways that are embarrassing for them i can't do it i can't do it Suffering from severe secondhand embarrassment there? It's true. It's like watching Scott's Tots. Yes, yes, yeah, similar, similar feeling. Very similar feeling. All right. Tadpole, do you know of them? Can you help me? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. I, uh, I'll do what Sounds I can. Time. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. I would we be amazed be if quick. you can this help. Way. I don't know that you can, but I would be amazed if you could. That's a doorway? Druids, man. So cool. Your doorways are incredible. There's something in that vessel. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Okay. Um, so you killed him and laid him out on the table? Look at that door. That's a nice door. It's a very nice door. Same kind of parasite. Hoping for a less grave cure. You killed him, laid him out on the table. Is everyone being captured by man mind flayers these days? Didn't think it was so common. God, this music in the background is so good. Do you have the Mind Flayer in a... What is that? Whoa! What is that? I do the best I can. Your name is literally Ned. I'm Wait, no it's... Master Halson mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Oh! Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. If no 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 wait 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 wait. Vested interest. If Halson can help, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll All wait. Right. Let's see what we can do. No, let's go get. No, let's go get Halson. Let's go get Halson. What's the plant? What's it gonna do? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything oh, strange? Oh, I don't happening? like the looks of this. Where does that go? Nose, mouth, or somewhere else? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. I fell from a ship high in the sky. Something caught me. It saved my life. That's true. I keep forgetting about that. Intellect devourer spoke to me as if I were one of its own. Nothing strange. <laughs> This, okay, so option number one actually seems like a somewhat useful tactical thing for me to keep secret. I don't want other people to know that, with, if possible. This one is also technically true, but might be a less tactical piece of information. I can, I can envision a situation in which other people knowing this might be bad. I can't really envision one for this. The news is a uh, suppository. Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Speaking of pieces of information to maybe not give out. Asking a lot of questions. Are you going to cure me or not? I think this is fine on a Mind Flayer ship. There's a wreckage like two minutes that way. You could find it yourself. Down by the river? Wait, is that the uh, Decemberist song? A mind flare ship. Down by the water. But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Ooh, uh... This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I think you're correct, Carter. Uh, I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? You were going to you were going to attack me with it. You were getting everyone else out of the room so that you could kill me. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. 
God, I... I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before oh. I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? That's one of the best scenes we've had so far. I love this. I walked into that fully... Uh, fully expecting one thing. That is some great writing. They The hints were not really... Ev like... That was great. That was great. Nothing but praise for the writing of this game so far. Uh, I swear... Do it now. I probably have to say I swear. But I'm a charlatan. It I doesn't matter. I hope it doesn't come to that. Battle heart approves. Thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. What the hells was going on? We have to find out. Because help. you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean, should be changing? Hmm... We already know this is not the case. Or at least we know that Nettie doesn't have it. What do you mean should be changing or you must have learned something from studying them? What do you mean should be? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven days. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms Bye, and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. I can feel myself being sucked into this game. Um, you said you were training other uh, victims. Did they change? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea That's why. That's new. What? When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So go and get him. Do you think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without... Goblins trying to shoot them down. The goblins know you, about you, Druids. You're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. I agree, Rizbel. I agree. How's that sound? That sounds good. I'm going to find Halson anyway. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Ah, oaths are for paladins. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why all right. Wyvern toxin. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Does that say bullywug? Ceremorphosis, nonetheless. Bullywug. Better than becoming a mind flayer. Keep it in case things start to go very. This is the well. library. We got to check and see if there's anything that we really uh, empty socket. We can't really interact with any of this stuff yet, but maybe someday. Hmm. What's that? Perception. Is it the fact that there is a uh, bear here, elk there, and an empty slot over there? If I, when I pass a perception check, it should point out what I'm looking at, right? Usually? Succeeded a perception check, but where? Usually it, like, shows you what you need to look at. Hmm. 
I succeeded on a perception check. Chat, front seat question. Doesn't it, like, normally show you what you succeeded on? I'm not seeing the, like, uh, like, ping or whatever. This room is so cool. It's really cool. It might just be these stone tablets, but... Kind of highlights a little bit, I think. Hmm. Okay. If you can see it, let me know. You have my have my permission. Stone slab there. See, that's what I got. Maybe it was this stone slab. Kind of highlights slash glows a little blue. I think I try reading this... Uh, these stone tablets. Let's hit a quick let's hit a quick save and then we'll do it. I meant to read them. I meant to read them. Crime. Certain actions are frowned upon by others. It's my first crime, chat. We're doing crimes. Scroll of shocking grasp. I'm not gonna steal. I would like to read this one. This one explains what these soul coins are. Prime! Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine of Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the... Uh, hey, Candlekeep, hold up. Our next... Uh, our next... One shot. Uh, is it Candlekeep Mystery? Or whatever they're called? Soul coins as a concept are one of merciless simplicity. Some of personal and magical essence. The soul is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. Frequently traded for the value can purchase mercenaries, magical items, even fuel, the strange engines in the hells. Um... There's a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin she'll never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemur status. Connected me to a half-elf warlock who promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. Next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly legal document in Infernal. That's hilarious. I love a bureaucracy. Let me read over here. Anything good? No. Read over here. Anything good? Soul coins. Okay. We're doing crimes. Mm. All right. I probably need to call it a stream. What's this inside? chest is lootable and it's not red. A cup. I love cups. Big fan of cups. It also seems like we've kind of ended in a good place here. There's a second floor up here? Oh my god, there's a second floor up here. Uh, we can go after Halson. Uh, next time. So... Uh, I think we'll call it there. Let's go see if we can actually see Arabella's parents. Hey, Arabella, we found you. We'll get some closure on this. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. <laughs> You're welcome. Hope we meet again under better circumstances. Anything more than a thanks for me? Oh, man. I love being a good person. I, I, I like, I, I struggle so much to pick anything other than one in this situation, you know? Likewise. Arabella? At least what I perceive Thank as a good you person. For helping me. You're welcome. Oh, and we did get paid. Kamira's locket. 
is my job too. Where can cast the dancing lights? Don't care about us. No one does. Well, my we game is lagging. After and by that I mean That's what Mole says. a little frame. Right, go. I don't care what Mole All right. Says. Uh, I she think that's a great correct. place to. Hold up one second. I never Heartless talked to a mech. Bastards. They deserve to have the goblins burn them out. Uh, what now? Heartless bastards. That's your whole dialogue. All right. Cool. Where's this sus ox? Sweet. We're going to uh, we're going to call it an episode there and call it a stream. Thanks for watching. It was a lot of fun. We did our first save scum. We uh, have checked out the hollow. And uh, we'll come back to Baldur's Gate uh, relatively soon. Good stuff.